Hello guys, welcome. I hope you're all doing very, very well. I decided I wanted to give you a little tour of my Spain apartment. It's an Airbnb, just to be clear, but it's been so wonderful. I've been living here for about a month now. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you a little tour, walkthrough of the place. You can get a feel for where I've been living. I don't know, I just wanna show it off because it's beautiful, so. <laughs> all right, when you first walk in, this is like the main hallway. So we've got the door with its beautiful many locks. It's like impossible to get in. So I feel very safe here, which is nice. And then there's just some little hanging things where you can put umbrellas, keys, whatever. There's actually just bags of trash and recycling that I need to take out that I've yet to do. It's actually like a really, really big hallway. I love this like arch. I just think it's so pretty. So let's... Let's go into the first room. This is bedroom number one. I really haven't used this space. My parents are coming today and my brother, so we will use this room, but I didn't, which I know is kind of crazy to have a whole room that I paid for and haven't been using, but the price was pretty good for having two beds. Twin bed with a little trundle, little drawers and a desk and stuff, nothing super crazy. Again, I really don't use this space. I do really love the windows though, just because you can open all of them. There's no screens, nothing, and I just think it's really nice. As we continue down the hallway, there's so much space, it's absurd. This is the second, like, I don't know, entryway, hallway sort of area. This room right here, we'll go into that right now. It's quite literally just like a storage closet. It's a huge storage closet. And then also a full-length mirror, which is nice. Then, nice little picture of Torres de Cort. And two doors. Both of them lead to the kitchen, so we'll go through this one. It's kind of difficult to show this room in all its glory. We've got a wonderful kitchen table, four chairs. Look at these cute little like flower cushions. Um, lots of very fun artwork and such. And this little piece of furniture just holds glasses, silverware, cups, bowls, plates, whatever. This thing I think is really cute too because I've been using it to store all my fruit, which is like, I feel like what it's for. Really nice. I think I might get one for an apartment at some point, just because I don't like just having them sit on the counter. There's also an ancient TV right there and a little microwave. Like I said, this leads to the courtyard, but this is where all my laundry is. I have sheets drying right now, but they're not quite dry. From an environmental standpoint, as well as just like a fun standpoint, I really quite like not having a dryer and hanging clothes to dry. Obviously, it's just laundry for one person. If it was for a full family, I feel like it'd be much more difficult. I know it doesn't look as good backlit, but look at my kitchen. Ugh, I adore this place. It literally has anything I could possibly need. Full-size fridge, freezer. I have my little dish rack, which is nice. Everything's hand-washed, so this drying rack right here is quite nice. Washer, which is actually full right now because my drying rack is full and I'm not sure why I did another load and like didn't think that through. These beautiful kitchen windows, they do open up, but like only so well. I think these are so cute and just like a great use of space to have them off of the counter. And then a nice little, nice little stove. And then an oven, which is actually really nice. I've made roasted vegetables. I have made mini pizzas in here. So very helpful. Um, and then just a bunch of utensils and stuff. I, I definitely want to take some inspiration for my future kitchen from this. And I think I just like the white with fun pops of color and just like having obnoxious decor with the white, I think is nice. And then also, this is a pantry, which is crazy. I don't know. I feel like it's pretty uncommon to find a pantry in, I don't know, most places, whether it's in Europe or in the US. And then we've got a little bathroom, but it's nice to have. I just have been using my own bathroom. Two bathrooms, two bedrooms, pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. Oh, you can't really see me actually at all. Okay, well, these two doors right here, they both lead to my room. I'm not really sure why there's two, but it's fine. Here we are. This is where I've spent the majority of my time when I'm in my apartment. So it's one big room, but it's kind of separated into a living room, sitting room area, and then the bedroom. We'll start with the sitting room. Especially when I first got here, this was a room that I used quite a bit because I was kind of overwhelmed every time I left the house. And so I wanted to explore, but I would always come back here at night and just like relax. Cute little decor as always, this nice little chair I've yet to use. And then this couch is nice, pretty comfortable, coffee table, TV. Of course, some little more decor pieces, some, some big flowers. I think these fans are so pretty. And then this is my favorite spot, probably, well, the kitchen or this in the whole house. This little chair and this table are where I eat the majority of my meals. I like to open the door have the screen here and just enjoy the sounds of the city. Not a quiet area, I will say, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest because I love the feeling of being so just in the middle of everything. 
And then we have part two, which is my bedroom area. This is actually really nice. I have been using it as a dresser. Presumably that's what it's meant for. I don't really know where else I'd put my clothes. This is my bed. It's actually really comfortable. It's like nothing fancy, but I have slept like a baby every single time. And then here again, cute decor and some souvenirs and stuff are right here. This book that I bought. I definitely exhibit some hoarder tendencies. So I saved all my receipts and tickets and everything because I like to put them in like a little book for my travels. So that's kind of all right here. Again, you can't really see this, but this is my desk done like a zoom call or two here and i don't know i've done some work here but otherwise i don't use it that often huh, this does open interesting and then this cute little like hamper i've actually been using quite a bit i don't know some kind of random decor but and then once you exit my bedroom as you can see we have the bathroom it's nothing very fancy and it's like clean and seems fairly new and I don't know. It's been nice. Honestly, I think that's it. It's literally huge, which is crazy. And I'm excited to have my family come visit just because there is like completely enough space for us. Oh my gosh. I don't even think I showed you the chandelier. Hold on. There's like actual molding on the ceiling. And then look at the chandelier. I mean, come on. It's so beautiful and it just like pulls the whole room together it's green which like why would it be green but it also works so yeah this concludes my little spain airbnb tour i hope in like a few years i make this exact video but it's for my apartment that i'm actually living in putting that wish into the universe fingers crossed it pans out but i will see you guys next time maybe you'll get another spain video after this i don't know or maybe zurich